In this part of the class, we start examining some fundamentals of probability theory. We need some of these basics so that we can analyze real-world communication systems. To analyze real-world communication systems, we basically need to study random processes. But before we can understand what a random process is, we need to understand what a random variable is because random processes are really just nothing more than time-ordered random variables. So in this part of the class, we're going to start studying random variables, and we'll have a sequence of charts and, and talk about lots of relevant things related to random variables. But first, in this part, we are going to just have an introduction where we just give some motivation for why we need to study random variables to do the analysis that we want to do. So recall what we've been studying so far in the class. We've been examining communication schemes that send pulses across a channel, and those pulses are examined by the receiver, and the receiver looks at the pulse and then makes a decision about a bit value, essentially, based on examining the pulse. This receiver does have to deal with channel distortion. We've been passing these transmitted signals through channels. These channels tend to filter things, which lead to dispersion. These pulses spread out. We have inter symbol interference, things like that. So the receiver does have a job to do in that it receives a distorted copy of the actual signal. But so far, we have not considered any noise present. We've just considered distortions due to channel distortions. So now what we want to start doing in this part of the class and for the rest of the semester is we want to start investigating the effects of noise. Well, noise is a random quantity, and we need to be able to, to describe that. Everything we've done so far in this class and everything you've done for the most part throughout your entire undergrad has considered deterministic signals. All the signals we've been transmitting, they're deterministic quantities. So we've been able to do the analysis with just Fourier transforms and things like that. In order to understand signals that are random, we need kind of a new mathematical structure so that we can do that. So in this part, we're going to start introducing random variables, and this will let us start capturing and quantifying the effects of noise on digital communication systems. Like I said earlier, what we really need in terms of analyzing communication systems is to be able to understand how random processes or noise processes impact our receiver's performance. But before we can start talking about random processes, we first need to talk about random variables. So that's what we're going to do here in the next several videos.